Yo, what's going on? It's Aaron Bazzer here again. Thanks for stopping by to my channel. So I've been following this YouTuber named Synth Hacker, and he is a sound designer that uses Serum, and I think before that he was using Massive. And um, he kind of captured my interest by making these very future R&B and future like soul sounds. And this one particularly that he made that I want to show you guys, um, he made it in Serum. It's called Future. Let's go to it. Future R&B cores like K. Trinata, Medicine, and Jerry Folk, which are some of the artists that I listen to that I'm hugely inspired by. So this is what he said about it. Recently, I've been interested in some of the chord sound design by artists like Medicine, Jerry Folk, and K. Trinata. I was playing around with a little idea in this style and ended up with a really smooth chord sound I liked, so I thought I'd share how I made it. So that's the sound, and uh, so I'm gonna show you how to create that sound, or at least to approximate that sound using alchemy. So this is kind of as close as I got. I think I made two versions of it just to make sure that I got it kind of like close. So this is the first version of it. Let's see if I can get it. So that's the first version that I made, and then the one with the pitch bend, of course, it sounds like. I saved it as that. All right, so it's pretty close. I mean, if you didn't have serum and stuff like that, this is kind of, you know, an alternative way to do it. And by the way, you can learn a little sound design in, in Alchemy, which, you know, this was my big synth before, um, one of my big synths that I love to use in uh, Logic Pro X before I got serum. But anyway, so let's uh, start from scratch real quick. So here's how we can create that sound. So let's go to File here. So when you open up Alchemy, you're gonna go to File, obviously. And you're going to clear that sound. So we're going to start with A over here on this side, uh, which is oscillator A instead of the saw. Oh, and by the way, um, he has a link to the chords that he uses for that one. It's it's They're the same name as the video, which is, you know, K. Trinata, I think. Let me just find out real quick, just so we can be sure. So Serum, Future, R&B chords. So if you go to his website, you can download them. But I'll just include those chords on here, um, you know, and I'll include a link to his video and all that stuff. But go support him. Um, he has a bunch of, like, MIDI chords that you can use and stuff like that if you, you know, go to his and sign up, sub subscribe to his uh, um, email and all that stuff. But anyway, so... I'm using those chords. I'm going to link those chords as a MIDI download, and uh, I'm going to link this patch as well as the Alchemy download so you can have it and load it in. But if you wanted to learn how it's made, this is what we got. And also, real quick, uh, I got a sausage fattener. If you guys have seen my videos and stuff like that, I just throw that on there at the end just so I can not clip my sound and stuff like that. I just I use it like a limiter or whatever. But um, Here's what we got over here. So going back to Alchemy, we got Fresh Alchemy. We go to File. We'll clear it out so we can start from Fresh. Usually coming from here, we go to Oscillator A. We're going to load up Basic Sine Wave on here. And Serum is a BD Sine Wave, so we're just going to use a Sine Wave on here. I'm going to play the chords to hear how it sounds. Okay, so let's, let's pitch it up. Uh, an octave so let's go on here 12 semitones and then we'll change that later we'll have it have a pitch rise or pitch bend and all that stuff with um with the envelope but for now let's just put it over here let's just tune it with uh, 12 semitones or an octave over here so let's see how it sounds okay awesome so now let's go to R, right? You say A A H D S R. It's just A D S R, really. But uh, I mean, there's a hold in there. A H D S R. So we're gonna just uh, increase the attack real quick, so we can get a slow attack. So like about like 39 is what I found when I was playing around with that. 
so and then decrease the release a little bit like that and then sustain is all the way kind of so you can just play around with these settings but kind of around this part so let's see how it sounds so i'm gonna lower the attack just a little bit there you go maybe like 21 seconds is fine So let's have that as a starting position right there. And then we're going to go to oscillator B. We're going to turn that on on here. And we're going to go to load VA. And then it says we're going to go to, I think, one we can use. We have a little ring as a sign, add 12. And uh, let's see how that sounds. Oh, by the way, let's pitch that to 12 semitones, which is an octave. the volume on this uh, oscillator be down a little bit and it's already key uh, key tracked already so keep it under here it says key plus PB and just keep that on there so it follows a key track it adds a little different character to it whenever you um, play it up and down so on, on oscillator B2 also turn on the noise just a tad over here actually before we even do that Let's go to oscillator A. Let's add a little uh, detune over here. So this how it sounds with our detune. We're going to add just like a uh, couple steps. Add a detune now. Let's leave it at 2. Increase the detune. Pl play around with the settings on there. And then I'm going to increase the symmetry. I'm not using headphones, so I can't really hear, but for my speakers on my laptop, it sounds kind of, sounds pretty decent. So you can always tweak around and stuff like that with the settings. I just want you to get the technique down, but so now we got that there. Oscillator B over here. Let's turn on the noise. Let's see how it sounds with the white noise. A little too much. Let's going to lower down the volume just a tad. Right there in the background. I kind of was playing around with straw and I kind of like the way straw sounds. I'm just gonna take out the low end real quick, about like right here. And while we're at it, let's increase the detune to like probably like one. Just turn it on to one, not more than one. Or you can play around, but this is where I found it sounds decent on here. going to be able to um, control that, modulate that with an envelope later, but for now, let's just put it on one over here. Lower the detune. Or increase it, let's see. Alright, pretty good. So, now we're going to go to global settings, and now we want to um, modulate the Let's see. Modulate the pitch on here where it says course. And we're going to right click, add modulation, AHDSR. I'll just call it ADSR. ADSR1, which is what we did for our regular envelope. We're going to just map it to there. So let's see how it sounds. It's a little bit too high, right? So now let's go back to our oscillators A and B and just pitch them back down. So I'm going to hold option and click where it says course or, you know, uh, 12 semitones or you can just do it manually just drag it down but I'm just gonna hold option and then click it returns it to zero and then for oscillator B as well now we got okay still too much right that's no problem so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna lower this down to uh, let's see one about like 12 semitones up right here and then we're just gonna lower this down. Let's see. Actually, let's just option click on there, keep it regular, and then we'll just start it from 
see right here with ADSR. So when you modulate it, it goes to here, so you can control the depth on here. So pay attention as I lower the depth over here, what's happening with the course over here, right here. So I just want it to go from there to maybe 12 semitones. So it moves really fast if you're using a mouse, so I hold uh, Shift. So it moves a little bit slower, so you can get precise with there you go. So exactly 12 semitones, which is an octave. You know what I mean? So now you're there. And then if you want to um, make the timing a little bit slower, you can now start playing with the smoothness on here. All the way sounds like that. So it sounds really awesome. I'm going to go into global, and then I'm just going to throw in uh, a filter on here. Um, just going to do this one. going to lower it right here, the cutoff, add a little resonance. Just a slight tad, slight, slight drive over here. Now we're going to modulate this cutoff with the exact same um, modulation that we did with the pitch and everything else. We might change it if we don't like it, but let's just, you know what, let's do something different. Let's add another uh, ADSR envelope and stuff so I can show you guys how to you'd be able to add more, you know, um, envelopes or LFOs if you wanted to modulate your sound kind of like Serum. So this is where you go, add modulation, right click, add modulation, we're going to say new ADH, ADSR. And then uh, we're just going to have like a similar attack, slower attack type deal. Uh, lower the release over here to like that. And then this is what it sounds like. So we're modulating the cutoff. Again, we're going to lower the depth. Play around with that. Or let's go to right here. Lower the depth real quick, so it goes from it goes from where it ends at blue over here to where it ends at orange. So we just play around until we wanted to go from there to like closer to the end over here. So it'll be like let's make it a little more smooth. Let's see how it sounds. So yeah, so it sounds pretty close, right? So let's go back and double check to make sure that was the right thing. I'm pretty sure it sounds pretty close. So it's a little like shine, like a little metallic kind of sound. So how I found to how I found a, a way to like approximate that was just to kind of go back to your oscillators over here. And just increase the symmetry on both oscillators. And then another thing, another extra, you can go to um, oscillator B. Remember, say we're going to modulate the detune or, you know, the detune amount. So we're going to use, let's say, let's modulate it with um, ADSR envelope number two. A little too much because it's going all the way. So we're going to just lower the depth real quick to about right there. So let's try about 13 right here. subtle 
Let's try to add a smoother here how it sounds. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty close to it. I mean, he added more stuff to it. Like, you can add, like, a bit crusher on here. But I don't like the bit crusher in Alchemy. Uh, we're just going to use a stock one in Logic since you're already in Logic. So um, you can throw in Distortion over here and then bit crusher. And he plays around with um, just a down sampling. Lower the mix, of course, and you obviously want to lower it. It sounds a little muddy. You're going to EQ it a little bit later on, but let's just throw mix down on the Big Crusher. So you can get kind of that if you like, or if you really wanted to play around with something similar in Alchemy, you have... Um, I was playing around with the mod effects. Then... Um, just for for a little chorus leave it a default setting as a nice little wide chorus and then you go on here uh gonna add more gonna add uh i think it was distortion is that correct what was it i'm, I'm already forgetting it was multi-mode filter there we go all right so from then you can scroll all the way to the bottom, Bit Crusher. Then. You can either do that, or you can throw in, I think it was Distortion. Um, I think it was the distortion on here ba, 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 ba. yeah I think it was that one it was add more bit crusher or mat you know stuff like that but yeah you can just play around with that and um, I threw in I mean again OTT is free so you can go and download that it's multi-band compressor so just throw it on I have a setting on that I just saved as number three and did as the settings so you can copy them if you would like. So this is how it sounds without. With. It's just. It adds a little detail to it and stuff like that. So, But yeah, play around with those settings. I'm going to go ahead and save this one as a third version of that same sound that I've made. So I'm just going to say uh, Synth Hacker 3. I named it something else, but whatever. We'll save it as that. Now we have the sound we can pull up on here. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Go go have some fun and uh, play around and tweak these sound and uh, see if you can actually find other sounds from his <laughs> from his page and be able to figure them out in the sense that you already have his stock plugins. That's how you learn sound design. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Whoa.